All right, here we are back again dealing with this messed up trial. Like I said in the last video, I skipped over the first witness because there was just nothing there. So we're moving on to the second witness. Can you say your name for the record, please? Ryan Nelson. And how old are you, Ryan? 18. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I work in the trades. Are you a drywall installer or something? Yeah, the drywall finisher. Um, where do you live? Uh, Stillwater. Were you familiar with a person named Isaac Schumann? Yes. How did you know him? Uh, he was one of my best friends. How long uh, were you best friends with Isaac? Uh, since middle school. Uh, do you recall uh, the day of July 30th of 2022? Yes. Were you with Isaac on that day? Yes. Were you with him when he was killed? Yes. How old were you back on uh, July 30th of 2022? 17. Had you finished high school yet? No. Well, what grade were you in? Uh, summer going into senior year. On July 30th of 2022, had you made some plans to uh, spend time with your friends that day on the Apple River and near Somerset? Yes. Um, what was the plan? How did the day start? Um, well, we texted the night before and made plans to meet up and I'll go tubing on the Apple River. Where did you meet up at? Uh, Stillwater High School. Who was in your group that day? Uh, me, Isaac, Owen, Jawan, Landon, Alex. Uh, when you got to Stillwater High School that day, was the plan to all ride together over to the Apple River? Yes. Who drove? Uh, Alex Hang. I'm going to have you look at Exhibit 62 there uh, that you're holding on to. Can you identify the folks in the picture for the jury? Um, from, left to, from left to right. Alex Vang, Juwan Cockfield, Owen Pelequin, uh, me, Ryan Nelson, Landon Wire, and then Isaac Schumann. That's Isaac in the, the hat on the right? Yes. Is that what you uh, were all wearing on the river that day? Yes. Uh, where did you go first? Um, um, we went right up to park where we got the tubes, uh, River's Edge, I think it's called. Uh, you rented tubes there? Yeah. you remember how many tubes you rented? Um, one for each of us and then one more for our stuff, I believe. When they give you the tubes, are they connected together or do you connect them together there? Uh, you had to get a, a wire, like a twine to connect them together. Did you do that? Yes. Did you make sort of one big raft out of your tubes? Yes. Um, after you rented the tubes, did you get on the river right away, or were you hanging out in the park? Uh, no, we went right straight to the river. All right. Do you know what time it was when you got on the river? Uh, not exactly. Probably roughly around noon. Ryan, right. when you uh, rented the tubes, do you remember who paid for them? Uh, no. All right. Um, do you remember getting a receipt? Uh, no, I don't. All right. The show that's been marked as Exhibit 27B. You take a look at that. And specifically look at the back side? Oh, we have no choice but to look at the back side. It's covering the entire screen. Whose name's at the top? Uh, Alex Vang. All right, who's, who's that? Uh, he's one of my friends. He's on the river. All right. Um, at the bottom, there's a time for when you rented your tubes. Tell us what that is. Uh, 1239. Your Honor, I'll move to admit that exhibit. I don't know if there's any objection to it. Any objection? Well, there's no foundation. Sustained. We'll, we'll wait till. That's fine. Yeah. Once you got on the river, uh, did you folks bring drinks with you? Uh, yes. And a cooler of some sort? Yes. Um, what were you drinking? Um, beers and seltzers. All right. You're 17 at the time? Yes. Do you remember how many beers you had? Um, I personally had about three to four. Um, were you or other folks in your group um, smoking marijuana? Yes. Was Isaac Schumann smoking any marijuana? Um, I don't think so, no. Um, as you're going down the river, did you eventually have contact with the defendant, Mr. Mew? Yes. Do you know where it was when you first saw him? Um, where the incident happened. Sure. Were you near any landmarks that you can remember? Uh, a bridge. Uh, what was he doing when you first approached him? Um, well, he first approached us. He was snorkeling by our tubes. Did you ask him what he was doing? Uh, yes, multiple times. And what did he tell you? Uh, he didn't say anything. Did he ever tell you he was looking for a phone? No. Do you ever, ever remember hearing him saying anything about looking for little girls? Uh, no, not me personally. All right. Um, ultimately, did you approach your group? Yes. You were here um, when we played the video in the court right before your testimony? Yes. Um, the first part of that video, uh, did you see Mr. Mew running up towards your group? Yes. Um, is that 
the legs of a couple of your friends in that video, the first few seconds of that video. Yes. That's that's your raft of tubes. Yes. As Mr. Mew is running up uh, on your group, did he say anything about why he was running towards you? No. Did he say why he was grabbing onto your tubes? No. Um, were you able to see on the video that he was reaching towards where the legs were of the two people and the tubes that you can see in the video? Yes. Um, did he make physical contact with those folks? Um, he didn't make physical contact with me. That's how I know. Did everybody bail out of their tubes once he ran up? Yes. Did you have some concern uh, when you saw him running up and grabbing onto your tubes? Yeah, a lot. Did he say anything at all after he grabbed onto your tubes? No. Uh, were you sitting or standing uh, in your tube when you ran up? Uh, sitting. Did you get up? Yes. Why? Uh, I was scared. Did you want to, were you trying to get away from him? Yes. He looks absolutely terrified, doesn't he? Did you say anything to him? Uh, yes, we asked him what he was doing and we told him to leave multiple times. All right. Uh, fair to say you were raising your voice and yelling at him? Yeah. Like we saw in the video? Mm -hmm. uh, did you threaten him in any fashion? No, not at all. Did you hear Isaac Schumann um, threaten Mr. Mew in any fashion? No. Did you yourself have any kind of knife? No. Did you see anybody in your group with any kind of knife? No. Is it fair to say you were calling him some names? Yeah. Why were you doing that? Um, we had no idea of his intentions, and we asked him, and he never ever stated them. It just doesn't make sense to me to antagonize someone when you're supposedly afraid of them. Bad choices. At some point, were you yelling uh, for him to get away? Yes. Did uh, another group on the river come over to investigate what was going on? Yes. Did you know any of those people? No. Did you see where they came from? Uh, just the other side of the river. Were they adults or were they kids? Uh, young adults. Older than your group? Yeah. Once this other group came over, uh, was it women or men, if you remember? Um, I believe two girls uh, approached first. All right. And what did they do when they approached? Uh, also told them to leave. All right. Did he leave? No. Uh, once these other folks came over to uh, tell him to leave, did that change your level of concern with what he was doing? Uh, yeah. In what way? Um, it was a little confusing and also concerning why he wasn't leaving. He could have just removed himself from the situation like everyone asked him to. Did, did he ever tell you why he wanted to stay near your group? No. Is it fair to say that at some point you and your friends uh, were laughing at him? Yeah. And why were you doing that? Uh, we thought he was just really weird, to be honest. Do you remember how many folks were in the group that came over to help you guys? Do you know how many times you told uh, Mr. Mew or you and your group told Mr. Mew to leave, leave you alone? More than I can count. All right. All right, Ryan, do you see the picture that's on the screen in front of you? Yes. That's still, still number 1219 from the video. Can you tell us who's in this picture? Um, Isaac Owen. And then uh, is, I can't quite tell who that guy on the left is. All right. Um, is Isaac, which one is Isaac? Uh, purple shorts. Uh, is he wearing a hat or not wearing a hat? Wearing a hat. What is Isaac doing in this picture? Um, holding Owen. It looks like uh, arm towards Owen and looking at Mr. Mew, maybe. Uh, the person on the right, who's that? Owen Pelquin. Uh, he was also in your group? Yes. Uh, what's he doing at that point? Um, it looks like saying something to Mr. Mew. All right. Um, where were you when that, if you remember... Where were you in location to this picture, or in relation to this picture? Um, I believe I was near Juwan and Landon. Back behind the tubes? Yep. Juwan's the person taking the video? Yes. All right, Brian, this is uh, still frame 1279 from the video. Um, what does this uh, picture show? Um, Isaac with his hands raised. All right, does he have anything in his hands? I uh, know. Who's that in front of Isaac? Uh, Mr. Mew. Isaac's hands open or closed in fists? Uh, open. Can you tell or do you remember what he was doing with his hands at that point? Uh, no, it just looks like he has his hands raised. I'm going to show you now, still 1297 from the video. Uh, who is in this picture? Uh, me. That's you on the left? Yep. Holding onto the tubes? Yes. Uh, Mr. Me on the right? Yes. Is that Isaac, uh, part, part of Isaac's arm in that photo? Uh, yes, it looks like it. All right, do you have anything in your hand in this photo? Uh, no. You're there, uh, referring to your right hand, your left hand you can't see, right? Yeah, I didn't have anything in my left hand either, though. Right. 
showing you still frame 2596 uh, from the video. Can you tell us uh, what that is? Uh, me. All right, and uh, on the right, who's that, if you know? Uh, I don't recognize her. Is that one of the folks that came over to uh, yeah. help you out? Do you have anything in your hands there? No. Um, at that point, uh, you appear to be smiling? Yeah. While you were having this argument with Mr. Mew and trying to figure out what he was doing, um, were you able to see his face? Uh, yeah. Did he look to be frightened? Uh, no. What kind of facial expression did he have? He was smiling. Um, while you were having this, this argument with him, did he, were you able to tell whether he had anything in his hands? No. Uh, did you ever see him holding a knife? No. Fair to say the video shows that the incident happened pretty fast? Yeah. Um, while the two women are talking to Mr. Mew, what happened next? What did he do? Um, he punched one of the girls in the face. You remember which one it was? Um, I believe the blonde one. I'm right. not 100% sure, though. No. And looking back at the photo that we have up, which is 2596, is that where you were standing when he punched the, the blonde woman in the face? Uh, relatively, yeah, yeah. So fairly close? Yeah. Prior to uh, Mr. Mew punching the blonde woman, had you seen anybody strike him in any fashion? No. You didn't see anybody punch him? No. Uh, when you say he punched the lady, is it possible that he was flailing his arms to protect himself or something along no. those lines? It was looked like he struck her definitively with his right hand. After the blonde uh, woman was punched, uh, what happened next? Did some um, I believe her friends tried to come to her rescue and push Mr. Mew to the ground and hit him and pushed him again. And you saw that? Yeah. Uh, did you see him in the water? Yes. Do you remember how many times he was hit when he was in the water? Um, two or three maybe, I believe. All right. Um, at some point, uh, did he get on his hands and knees? Uh, yeah. Uh, what happened next? Um, he got up s swinging his knife and stabbing everyone. All right. At that point, did you know that he had a knife in his hand? Um, yeah, well, once I saw, I didn't know until I saw the person standing next to me who had his whole stomach cut open. And Yeah. The person who got his whole stomach cut open, was he holding any kind of knife? No. Was anybody, did you see anybody in the, the group that came over to help you um, have any kind of weapons? No. What did you do after you realized that uh, one gentleman had, had his uh, belly slit open? Um, I was in shock. I didn't really know what to do. I tried to, to tell my friends because I'd make sure they were seeing what I was seeing. And then I went and stood in our tubes. You left the, the general area? Yeah. Um, were you aware that um, Isaac had been stabbed? Um, not for like a minute. Eventually, did you realize that, that Isaac was down? Yes. Did you see him in the water? Yes. Did you see a wound on his body? Yes. Uh, where was it? Um, his upper chest. Was he bleeding? Uh, yes. Ultimately, did you um, and then the rest of your group or, or attempts made to help Isaac get to shore? Yes. Who did that? Um, Owen and Alex. All right, and where were you at that point? Um, I was still standing in the tubes. Were you injured at all? No. Did you ever lay a hand on Mr. Mew? No. After you realized that folks had been stabbed, did you see what Mr. Mew did? Uh, no. Did you see where he went? Mm -mm. Is that at all? Yeah, no. Sorry. Can you tell us who's in this picture that you know of? Um, the only person I recognize is myself. All right, you're in the blue trunks in the middle? Yes. Is this the point where um, Mr. Mew had punched uh, the blonde woman? Yes. Did you take a step forward? Uh, yes. Uh, Why did you do that? Uh, in her defense, to help protect her. All right. Did you end up doing anything to help protect her? No. I think you already testified some other gentleman took care of that. Yes. Whereabouts on her body did uh, Mr. Mew punch the blonde woman? In her face, I believe. All right. At some point then, um, did you go to the area where... Isaac was being uh, laid on the, the shore of the river? Yes. Did you, the rest of your group also end up there? Yes. Um, did anybody call 911 if you know? Uh, yes. You know who did that? Uh, not, I think a lot of people did. I don't know specifically. Were there some folks that stopped to render aid to Isaac? Yes. Was one of them a nurse? Yes. Um, what kind of aid did she give Isaac? Um, I wasn't over there, I'm not sure.
All right, did you see anybody doing CPR on him? Uh, I wasn't close enough. All right. At some point, did the police arrive on the river? Yes. They wade through the water to get to where you folks were? Yes. Did you speak to the police officers? Uh, after, yes. On the shore? Yep. Um, at some point, uh, was Isaac taken off the river? Yes. Was he ultimately put in an ambulance and taken to a hospital? Yes. Did you follow? Yes. You know, do you remember which hospital they brought him to? Uh, is it Lakeview? Right. Daughter. When you were at Lakeview Hospital, did you speak with an officer there as well? Yes. Even though this incident happened uh, almost two years ago, uh, do you still remember the face of the person who did this? Yes. Do you see him in the courtroom here? Yes. you point him out and say what he's wearing? He's wearing a black suit, black pants, brown shoes. No matter if the record to reflect the identification of the defendant. Next question, please. Nothing further. The search for officer. So, Mr. Nelson, you um, provided an interview um, with an investigator, uh, Dittman. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. And to start with, one of the things that uh, Officer Dittman was interested in was how much alcohol you had consumed that day. Do you remember yes. that? Mm hmm Okay. And uh, he told you you weren't going to get in any trouble for anything. He just wanted the truth, right? Yes. Okay. And you indicated to him... Uh, well, he initially asked you if you guys were drinking any uh, any hard alcohol, right? Yep. And you said that you weren't. Yep. That's a lie, right? Uh, no, I myself was not drinking hard alcohol. You guys brought Tito's vodka and water bottles and were doing shots on the river? Uh, I wasn't, but other my friends were just. Okay. And you were asked um, about Isaac drinking that day, yes. right? Yes. And you had told Officer Dittman that you think you had three or four drinks. Yes. And you said, I think Isaac had about the same. Yes. Okay. Are you aware that Isaac's alcohol level was a point, almost a point two two? Object, Your Honor. I was not aware of that. Hold Foundation. on. Foundation. Objection overruled. Uh, Mr. Trophacy. Mr. Nelson, are you aware that um, Isaac Schumann's uh, blood alcohol concentration was a point two one nine? Uh, no, I was not aware. Okay. But you say that you guys were about the same, right, in alcohol? Well, I, I was just a guess. He asked me to provide an estimate, and I did. I wasn't keeping track of other people's drinks. Right, but you provided that your estimate, and yeah. his, your drinking and his drinking were pretty close. Yes. So you were impaired, yes? Um, slightly, yes. Slightly? Let's not forget that this expert on alcohol still isn't old enough to drink it. And you were asked uh, and gave some answers regarding your initial contact with Mr. Mew. Do you remember that? Yep. Okay, and you had said, if I have it right, uh, he snorkeled by us and didn't say anything. Yep. Okay. Your interview with Detective or Investigator Dittman, you indicated, yeah, so this weird guy, he was wearing a snorkel at first, came up to us and was kind of like talking to us, and we were a little weirded out. Right? Yep. So which one's true? Um, I don't remember him saying anything. Okay, so this when did you give the statement to Investigator Dick? Um, was that the one at the bank or the hospital? How many interviews did you give? Two. When did you give them, if you remember? Um, one was on the bank after the incident, and then one was at the hospital. Is your memory better back then about what happened, or is it better today? Um, I'm not sure. Well, do you remember things that happened closer in time to the event, or as more time goes by? Um, I think I remember them both the same. So if something happened two years ago, you would remember it the same as if you were giving that statement a day or two after? Uh, yeah, I would try. Okay. So you don't recall him saying anything to you guys, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. But you all were saying something to him, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. You didn't tell that to Investigator Dittman, did you? Um, I don't remember. You left out the fact that you guys started taunting him and tormenting him. Right? After we told him to leave, yes. Well, talking about the first time. Not the second time that we've seen the video. The first time we haven't seen the video for yet. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that incident? Yes. Okay. You don't tell Investigator Dittman about what you guys were doing to Mr. Mew at that point, do you? Uh, no. Why not? I just didn't think it was relevant. You didn't think it was relevant on this person that you're saying uh, did all these things to your friends 
wasn't relevant that you had contact with him earlier in that day. It was this, it was like minutes, seconds before. It wasn't like earlier in the day. It was around the same time. Right, and you didn't think it was relevant that you would inform him that you were taunting, you guys were taunting Mr. Mew and calling him names, right? Uh, no. Okay. Grown man trying to have sex with little girls, what the hell? What the fuck? He's a raper! So he's, he's walking by you guys, he's not right on top of you there, is he? Uh, he was previously, but not that in that moment, no he's not. So, your friend just didn't get that on video? No, we started taking a video once he was being weird towards us. We wouldn't have videoed him just out of the blue. So when he was just walking by there, and your friend just started saying, you can't have sex with little girls, right? Uh, that was after he was snorkeling under our tubes without saying anything. Where do you tell Officer Investigator Dittman that he was snorkeling underneath your tubes? Uh, by our tubes. Oh, so by your tubes, not underneath your tubes. I misspoke. I apologize. Okay. So he's snorkeling by your tubes. Yep. And you guys start calling him names. No, we asked what he was doing and who he was, why he was there. Because it was, we found it a little weird that he was not in a tube like everyone else, but he was snorkeling right by our tubes. And so we asked him what he was doing. He never said anything. So then uh, we started calling him names, yeah. Okay. And the purpose of call you don't know him, do you? No. The purpose of calling a grown man that you've never met a raper? That wasn't me. Okay. The purpose of, um, d do you know why that was said? Uh, no. To your knowledge, had Mr. Cockfield ever met Mr. Mew before? No. Okay. You think it was funny? Uh, no. Did you ever tell him to stop? No. Okay. And shortly after this is when Mr. Mew moves toward your tubes, is that right? Yeah, when he runs at us. Okay. And your statement to um, Investigator Dittman is that Mr. Mew was standing over your tubes. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Do you know why he came up to your tubes? Uh, no. Was Juwan Cockfield holding a camera at that time? Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm sorry? Yes. Okay. And to your knowledge, Mr. Mew walks, he comes up to your tubes, then he walks around the tubes and actually starts to walk away from you guys, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. Okay. So you're saying... Your group is saying, get away, go, and he's doing that, right? Uh, not really. You just said he was walking away. But he didn't leave. He didn't walk away. He just walked a couple of steps and then stayed near. And you guys follow? No. You don't, you don't advance toward him? Your group doesn't advance we toward him? We stayed by our tubes. We were, as you saw in the still frames, I'm standing right next to our tubes. You showed us the still frame, or you, we saw the still frame involving mm -hmm. Isaac Schumann, right? Yeah. When he's got his arms up in the air like this, right? Yes. He's not standing next to his tube, is he? Um, I, I don't know. He might be. I, he might be able to see this tubes in the picture. I can't remember. He's confronting Mr. Mew, isn't he? No, he was, had his hands up. He raised. He was telling him to leave also. There's no confrontation at that point. I guess what I'm trying to ask you here, Mr. Nelson, is yep. you guys told him to leave, so he moves away from you. Then your group moves toward him. That's true, right? Um, I don't think we really, he left. I, I, you keep saying he leaves, and I don't, sure he never really left. He's on camera. Guys, let's go. Oh, 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 Yo, the new iPhone got that good quality. What do you say? So he, he's walking away from where your tubes are. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, but at the end of the video, you can see him turn his body back towards us, and then I assume he walked back towards us. You don't know if he did. But we could watch the rest of the video and find out. Well, we will, but your group walks toward him, right? You keep saying that, yeah. and it's clear they're moving in his direction, yes? Yes. Okay. And you're, doing, you're moving in his direction because you've testified that you're scared, right? We, our tubes, we're all still right around our tubes. That's our property, we're not, like... How come you don't go around him? You're, you've said that he could... What do you mean? Hold on. You said he could leave, right? Yeah. He could have walked away. You could have walked away, right? Yeah. 
you didn't walk away either, did you? No. And and that river, you don't anybody can use that river for being honest with one another, true? Yeah. Okay. So he doesn't have any more responsibility to walk away than you guys do, does he? No. Okay. And if I said to you that at some point this other group starts coming over, is that right? Yes. Okay. And at that point, are you guys calling him a, a pedophile? pedophile? Uh, I think, yeah, we were previously. You were previously calling him a pedophile. pedophile. Like, in the, yeah, we were shouting, and that's, I think, why they came over. Okay. And I'm sorry, you said you believe that's why they came over? They heard us shouting, so. I sure. Believe, yeah. And certainly, to you, shouting a pedophile, pedophile could be something that would draw people's attention, right? Yes. So you don't have any information that he was looking for small children, do you? No. Okay. Um, you'd agree calling somebody a pedophile, pedophile isn't the same thing as calling somebody like a jerk or an a-hole or something like that, right? Yeah. Right? Yes. That's like, you're, you're, you're telling somebody, or you're telling people this guy's looking to have sex with small children, right? I didn't say that. That's what a pedophile is though, you know, right? Yeah. Okay. And you guys, to a man you've never met before, have no information about People in your group are yelling on the river that he's a pedophile. Yes? Yes. Okay. And by your own admission, you believe that draws the attention of another group of people to come over. Yes. Okay. And do you remember independently, I know you've seen the video now, mm -hmm. do you remember independently, um, he walks away from you guys kind of over to her, doesn't he? Like mm -hmm. walking toward you. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. Okay. And she, to your recollection, immediately tells him, go, get your fucking ass, go. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. So, in terms of what you can see, she doesn't wait to find out what's actually happening either, does she? Uh, no. Right? Yep. She just, she jumps into this and is yelling him for, yelling for Mr. Mew to go without knowing anything about what had happened based on the contact you had. Yes. Okay. And you describe her to police as, quote, getting in his face. Is yes. that fair? Yep. What do you mean by that? Uh, she was yelling at him to leave. Well, you could yell at me to leave from here, right? Yeah. She was right. She was close to him, right in front of him. Okay, so I won't... I won't invade your space, but yeah. what you're in your definition of getting in someone's face is getting close to them. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. And is it in part based on the volume of her voice too? Yeah. Okay. So if I said to you, what you observed is this woman, her name is Madison Cohen, okay. but she is close to his face yelling at him. Is that yes. fair? Yes. Yep. Okay. And at that point, he's alone to your knowledge, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and that, that's a yes. I'm yes, sorry. sorry. And initially, there's six guys in your group. Yep. And you say that two females come over. Yes. Okay. More people come over as this continues on. Is that true? Correct. Okay. So at one point, it's at least, if you know, it's at least 10, 12 versus 1, right? Uh, yeah. And do you believe that the situation was getting, that the temperature was rising in terms of the situation as time was passing? Um, maybe a little, yeah. Okay, so it started out maybe here, and as time is going, the blonde shows up, it starts getting more and more heated, is that fair? A little, yeah. Okay. So in a situation where it's getting more and more heated, would you agree that a physically putting your hands on another person in that situation could be a show of aggression. I'm going to object, Your Honor, that calls for a conclusion. Sustain. Did you see Madison Cohen, the blonde girl, mm -hmm. put her hands on Nick Mew? No. Did you see her at any point move him or redirect him with her hands? No. Okay. So you had said... Um, that him, his presence here made you afraid. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to show you, do you recall ever saying personally mm -hmm. in your contact, you got 10 stars? <laughs> saying that so you're not saying that you said it i don't remember saying that no okay do you recall other people in your group do you remember hearing that being said no okay to you is a statement if i said to you you got 10 seconds is that something that you would take as a show of aggression objection your honor it's same objection it's what it's the same objection it's called it's Steve. can you play the video so I need you to listen to this, okay. um, Mr. Nelson, and it might take more than once, but I want you to listen to hear if you hear someone in your group saying that, okay? What do you say? Did you hear that? No. Okay, can you play it at least one more time? What do you say? So you hear somebody say you got 10 seconds, right? Yeah. Okay. And that, based on, that's not Mr. Mew talking, right? No. Okay, so somebody in your group is saying you've got 10 seconds. Uh, yeah. Okay. So who else thinks it was this guy saying you've got 10 seconds? At that point, are you still frightened? Uh, just more weirded out now. Okay, so it goes from frightened to weirded out. Yeah, he moved away from us a little bit, so it was more it was more scared when he ran at us and grabbed our tubes, and then it became more like, who's this guy? I'm more weirded out. Okay, did it go from then weirded out to not really afraid at all? Yeah. Right. Um, there comes a point that you've seen on here where your group has kind of surrounded Mr. Mew, and you're all taunting and pointing at him. Is that right? I want to object, Your Honor, to the, the term surrounded. I think it's a mischaracterization. Why not? Mean. Objections overruled. Mr. Shroff, is he? So you would agree that your group had moved around him, and you watched the video. You're all pointing at him, taunting him, calling him a predator, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So is it fair to say at that point the fear has left you? Um, yeah. Okay. And are you, do you personally feel more confident because the other group has come over? Um, maybe a little. Okay. So, fair if I said strength in numbers, the more people that are around, the more confident you're becoming. Is that fair? Um, I just, I guess I lost fear that he was going to do something weird to us, yeah. Okay, and the other people coming over helped you lose that fear? Uh, yeah, we could, we didn't, yeah. Because you had a lot of people around, right? Yeah. I don't want to get too close to you, but you say that, if this is fair, Madison Cohen, blonde girl. Yep. Is, is she in his face when she gets punched? Um, I would say she's at the same distance she was the whole time, so yeah. Okay, so she's in his face, right? Sure, yeah. Would you say that's in his personal space? Um... Maybe. Okay. So, based on your recollection, she may be standing in his personal space yelling at him, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, you, can you tell me, you said on direct examination that Mr. Mew punches her in the face with his right hand. Mm hmm Is that true? Yes. You believe that to be true? I believe he struck her with his right hand, yes. Okay. Are you aware that at the time that he would have struck her, he was holding onto a knife? Uh, no, I was not aware. Okay. If I told you that fact is true, would that change your opinion? No. You would still say a man who's holding a knife struck her in the face with his fist? Uh, yeah. His, the knife is not in front of his fist. Okay, so you think this is how, you think that the knife is in his hand and he comes across and punches her in the face. Yes. Okay. And do you remember, if, would he have hit her on the left or the right side? Uh, the right side, I believe. She fell down to the, towards the left. Or... Okay, so you believe... I, this, sorry, I'm getting confused. I, left side, I guess. Okay, so you believe he's holding a knife in his hand and he punches her in the left side of her face. Yeah. 
Do you see any marks on her? Uh, no, I didn't. I don't think they had time to pee marks or really check before everything happened. Okay, but you don't, my question is, you don't see her have any marks on her face, true? No, I didn't check okay. for marks. Okay. And you say that she goes down, <coughs> is that right? Yes. All right. That blonde is the girl that you said was punched in the face and went down, right? Yeah. Okay. Would you agree she's holding on to her drink? See that? Oh uh, Yes. And looks like she's got a cell phone tucked in her yeah. trunks on the top. Yes? Yes. Okay. Do you agree she doesn't go down, right? Um, if that was the woman that was punched, then... Well, she's the blonde, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So do you agree now looking at this, she doesn't go down? Yeah. Okay. You believed that she did go down, though? Uh, yeah, maybe it was just a stumble on... I guess I'm not sure. My attention was quickly averted to Mr. Mew after that. Okay. All right. You had provided information or a statement to Officer Didman. Um, he had asked you about any contact um, that Isaac may have had with yeah. Mr. Mew. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. And I think you had indicated that you never saw that happen. You never saw Isaac make physical contact with Mr. Mew. Yes. Okay. Have you seen, you watched the video, right? Yes. Okay. So now you're aware that Isaac has his hands around Mr. Mew's throat? I didn't know that he had his hands around, so no. You didn't see that? No. Okay. Is that something that you saw? No. That, he was, he was, uh, that was pretty late. That was, I think Isaac was the last one stabbed on video. And so by that time I was focused on the guy next to me who was, had his whole stomach cut open. Okay, but I guess my point is, Initially, you say you didn't see Isaac make contact with yep. him. You see on that video somebody with their hands around Mr. Muse's throat, right? Yeah. Okay. And you don't know if that's Isaac or not? Uh, no. Oh, you can watch it again, and I could tell you what I think, but I don't... Is he wearing a bracelet, like a gold bracelet on his wrist? I don't remember. Okay. Can I ask you this? No, you'd agree with this. On that video, nobody is stabbed until Mr. Mew is punched in the face and knocked in the water, right? After, yeah. Okay. And so you would agree that the people that are injured with the knife, that all happens after Mr. Bu has been knocked in the water, punched, slapped, pushed, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you don't, um, you don't attack Mr. Mew, do you? No. Okay. And he doesn't do anything to you, does he? No. It's all types of things. It's just messed up. So Ryan, the, the, the Tropacy has asked you about Mr. Mew walking away from your group of two, your group of tubes after he had run up on you. Yes. Um, did he walk down river or up river? Um, back up towards the other group that. Okay. When he, I'm asking about when he first stepped away. Down river. All right. And is that the direction your tubes were going? Yeah. Uh, so he was between you and the exit. Yes. <clears throat> Um, you had indicated that you took, you were holding on to the tubes. You didn't want to lose the tubes, obviously. Yes. You, um, you paid money for them. Mm -hmm. um, was the natural flow of the river carrying your tubes towards him? Yes. You, you do recall giving your statements to the police, right? Yes. And would it be fair to say that this has been so long now that your statements to police were given when your memory was probably a little fresher than it is right now. Objection leading. Sustained. Is your memory better now? Mr. Tropacy had asked you if your memory is better now than it was back then. Yes. All right. What, do you think that you remembered things better when you first talked to the police or now or the same? I think you said the same. Um, probably earlier. the same, yeah. All right. Uh, do you recall uh, talking to the officers about the names that you'd called Mr. Mew? Um, no. All right. You might have done that. Maybe. But it refresh your memory to uh, see a portion or hear a portion of what you told the officers with regard to calling him a pedophile? Sure. And the point is, Mr. Trophis, he asked you why you left out the fact that you called him a pedophile. Do you remember yeah. that? Uh, in fact, you didn't leave that out. Your Honor, can I approach the witness to show him a digital copy of the transcript of his interview with Investigator Dittman? 
Is there a transcript that was provided by Mr. Nelson? For what purpose? To refresh his memory as to what he told the investigator, didn't about what they were calling him, calling Mr. View at the time. You say I had trouble remembering? I lost it. You did. Mr. Chiropathy indicated that Mr. Nelson, Ryan Nelson, did not tell police that they were calling him a pedophile, which I intend to refresh his memory to show that he did tell the police that at the time immediately after the, the incident. Any objection? If he needs his memory refreshed, he can do that. I, I, Judge, I don't know if I missed it either, so. Yeah, I'm yeah. not hearing the magic words is, I guess, what I'm driving at. But this is going to help him refresh his memory. It's two sentences. I think you're missing the point. I'll move on, Your Honor. Uh, did, is it possible that you told Officer Dittman or Investigator Dittman something back then that you don't remember now? Yes. And it would being able to uh, see a transcript of what you said refresh your memory as to what you told them? Yes. Now, can I do it, Your Honor? I, on what issue? I don't know. Sustained. Oh, yeah. Objection sustained. Uh, can we approach, Judge? Yes. Oh, good grief. Here we go again. You know, if you happen to be at last year's Wisconsin State Fair, you might actually recognize Mr. Anderson. He won first prize in the fried cheese curd eating contest. He really knows how to gobble up the curds. The other guy, Brian Smeestad, he may be a bit larger than Mr. Anderson, but he can't keep up when it comes to scarfing down the cheese curds. He prefers to take his time savoring the flavor of each fried cheese curd as he dips them in mayonnaise. All right, let's continue. Mr. Smestad. Ryan, do you remember telling an officer of what kind of names you were telling, calling Mr. Mew at the time? Uh, no. All right, and if um, I approach Ryan, he's indicated he doesn't remember. You have to ask him what will help him remember. Who is this guy, Daryl Brooks or something? But you, if you saw a transcript of your interview with the investigator Dibbon, would that help you remember? Oh, yes. Now you can approach. <laughs> Showing your digital copy of the transcript and just read the highlighted portion. No, no, we'll read it all over. Read it to yourself. Sorry. That help you uh, remember what you told the investigator, did it? Yes. What did you tell him about the names you were calling the investigator? I said we were all calling him a pedophile and t saying this is weird and he needs to get out of here. So that wasn't inf was that information you were trying to keep from the police? No. <clears throat> At that point, were you aware that there had been a video made by John Cockfield of the incident? Yes. Were you aware that the police had it? Yes. At the time that uh, Mr. Mew ran up and grabbed onto your tubes, did he grab them in an area where some of your friends had their legs positioned? Yes. Injection leading. Sustained. Where did he grab your, the, your tubes? Um, where we were sitting. Were there people in those areas? Yes. What parts of their bodies, uh, if any, were close to where he grabbed? Uh, legs. Did you know? Whether or not he was trying to grab onto their legs? Objection, no. speculation. Sustained. Mr. Chirofasi had asked you about someone in your group saying you got 10 seconds. Do you know who that was directed at? No. You know who said it? No. Uh, you heard? Did you hear it on the video when he played it for you twice? Uh, yes. Did you hear Mr. Mew being described as the person who had 10 seconds? No. Mr. Chirofasi had asked you about whether you had less fear of Mr. Mew once... Uh, the other folks came up. Why did you have less fear? Um, I believe they were going to help us and help us get them away. Were these other folks kids or adults? Young adults. After uh, the blonde woman, Madison Cohen, is punched, uh, did you take the time to check to see if she had any injuries to her face? No. Uh, you've seen the video of the of the incident here today? Yes. You had indicated earlier, I think, that Everything sort of happened right after that, right? Yes. Did you see where Madison Cohen ended up, where she ended up going after no. she was punched? You no. didn't? You indicated that you, th you thought she fell down, and then on cross-examination you said that she may have just stumbled backwards. Do you, do you remember specifically whether she fell or stumbled backwards? No. But as you sit here today, is that what your impression of what happened was at the time? Yes. Uh, Mr. Trofsky had asked you about... Madison Cohen, the blonde woman, being in Mr. Mew's face. Uh, do you see that uh, still frame from the video? Yes. Is this what you were referring to? Yes. Is that where she was uh, located when he punched her? Um, 
I believe so. Do you remember where you were um, in relation to this photo off off screen uh, at that time? Um, to the left side of the women, the right side of Mr. Mew. Um, when she was punched, did you hear an impact? Yes. When you gave your two statements to the police, both one at the riverbank and one at the hospital, did you tell them that he had punched her? Yes. Nothing further. Mr. Shroffesey? We would agree that when Mr. Mew moved over to go talk to Madison Cohen, you could have all just went right by. Yes. But you stayed, right? Yep. And you were asked about just the 10 seconds, right? You got 10 seconds. Yes. You didn't believe that was directed at you, did you? I didn't hear it. Okay. Would it make sense to you that it would be directed at Mr. Yu based on what was happening? I'm not sure. I don't know who said it. And you said that your fear was reduced once more people came. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So um, tell me if this is fair. When it was the six of you, you had, according to you, some level of fear. When it became 13, you didn't have any fear. I had less fear, yes. Okay. Through this whole thing, he was alone, right? Yes. Okay. So at one point, you know it's 13 versus 1. Yes? Yes. Okay. Now, you said that you remember Ms. Cohen falling, and now you, you think that might be incorrect. Is that true? Uh, falling or stumbling. Blonde, I'm sorry. Yeah. That you say she was punched and she fell. Some sort of falling or stumbling motion, yes. I believe that's true. Okay. You'd agree that she never dropped her drink in that picture, right? Yeah. And her phone doesn't leave her body, right? Yeah. Mr. Nelson, I appreciate your time today. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. You can step down. Is he released from his subpoena? No. No? Okay. Is there a coordinator here that can assist him? All right. Uh, she'll give you further instructions about what to do and where to go. Please leave the exhibit with the attorney. Members of the jury, uh, it's 4.30, so we're going to break for the day. So that's basically the end of day one. The only other thing that happened after the jury left the room was that the prosecution was very upset that many of their witnesses weren't showing up for court. So they asked the judge to impress upon them how important it is for them to be there. And I'm just going to end it there. I'll be back soon with the beginning of day two. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. Thanks for watching.